In this lesson, we're going to create a carousal with images, but this is the pro version. So it gives you a little bit more than the uh, the standard one. So you want to click on the pro. Okay, now there's several options that you have here. You can choose to auto play it or you can just choose not to. And then once you come to, you know, to the bottom here, you notice you have the carousal background image. This is if you want the image to be it's the background image with text over it. And then you have the carousal image here if you want the image to be with the text on the side of it. So let's click this one here. And I'm going to select this one. And I don't have to, you know, if you have to put in a video or anything like that. If you want to add video, you can add that there. And then I'm going to put this uh, button text here. Learn more. And then with the link. And then the button size default, if you want an icon, I'm just going to grab an icon here, put that barcode. Okay, so this is the first one. Now we have the option of adding another one. I can copy the parameters from this one. One, and I'm going to copy this here and just change the image. Get started and I'm going to grab a different image for this one and then grab a different icon as well Bullseye. okay so let's click save and take a look at this so this is what it looks like here so you have a nice image here and you want to make sure that the image you know you can reduce the image size and you can you can also shorten the, the content that goes on this side and you can change the button for those as well so you have the option of just leaving it without a background or you can edit it so that it has a background on it so let's see here background color let's choose alright let's choose that there and then you can also change the font, you know, colors for that. So whatever color that you choose for the background, you want to make sure that the corresponding uh, font colors match with it. So I'm just going to shorten this, shorten this here just a little bit so that it can fit more in this spot. And let's go here with the buttons and default. Let's change that to primary for the first one. And we're going to change for the second one. Let's choose a different button type. All right, let's choose success. And let's click save. So once we refresh the page now, you know, and now it has it has a background with it. And once you scroll here, it has this background. So you can add as many images as you, you know, as you want to, as you like to, and you can, you know, have it without a background. So you just have to go ahead and explore and see, you know, which one that looks, you know, best with your website.